Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a Rainbow Squad Builder here on the FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. It's a Rainbow Squad that I'm going to build around Andrea Pirlo, uh, the premium SBC, end of an era player. Uh, and I'm obviously just going to show you, you've got a couple of days left to do the SBC, so I'm going to show you how I completed it. Obviously, you can get that Pirlo from the weekly objective, and then you're going to need to complete a, a certain like 83 rated team which could be a little bit costly at the moment as those prices have risen obviously um and i also thought it's a rainbow squad builder so why not use my rainbow kit and then i realized actually the way i zoom my camera in it just looks like i'm wearing a red and orange t-shirt so apologies about that but it is my rainbow kit sent from ea so thank you very much do me a favor guys hit that thumbs up button at the start of today's video i'd greatly appreciate it if we can push towards a 1000 likes that'd be awesome so these are the in-game stats of perlo if you were looking to get him you can also get the loan, but that's only five games, and it seems to be a little bit costly for what it is. So he's he's a very, very cheap 91-rated SBC player, I'm not going to lie. So I managed to get him for about 40k, uh, and of course you just need to go into online singles to get the Futmas version uh, of him as well. And we're going to start things off with a non-rare gold goalkeeper. Sorrentino. Any non-rare gold Italian from the Serie A would work just fine in this particular squad. And this is the one I had in my club. He was the highest rating. So he's going into the team today. Uh, and he actually performed all right. I think I conceded six goals in my first game. But I scored seven. So it's all good. <laughs> uh, we won the game. And that's all. You know, you can't really rely on keepers on FIFA, 7, uh, FIFA 18. So uh, that's just stick anyone in, in net there. We then have our rare gold. So a different card type. We've got 11 different card types today. Uh, I did a rainbow squad builder recently in the Premier League. And I know I used a couple of player, uh, a couple of card types a couple of different times within that video. So I thought I'd revisit this whole rainbow thing and make sure I did use 11 different card types today. We then got a ones to watch item. That is Leonardo Bonucci, Italian, plays for AC Milan, 87 defending and 81 physical. Uh, also was a part of the, the team of the year, so hopefully we'll get a, a sick version of him in the coming month or so. Uh, for a silver player, I've gone with Rydveld from the Premier League. Now, he is Dutch and he plays for Crystal Palace. And for a silver, this guy has got some pretty ridiculous stats. 74 pace and then really good defending and physical for a silver. Uh, and he's going to link to an inform that is Marvin Ziegler, uh, a Dutch player in the Prem place for Watford, left back, 83 pace, uh, 84 physical, really good strength, really good stamina on this guy, so I figured I would, it would be a decent defense if we could get those guys in right there, obviously Rideworld being kind of like the weak link out of everyone because he is the lowest rated player. Now moving into the midfield, we've got three beasts, we have got uh, Path to Glory, Saul. Now, he has actually been boosted. So he's an 84 rated. He does have an informed version, but you can pick up the Path to Glory. A uh, different card design again. One of the best card designs in the game, in my opinion. He's 84 rated, and my god, did he perform really well for me. Actually managed to get some goals as well from that centre mid spot. And I've got to say... He is one of my favourite central midfielders in the Spanish league, or my favourite Spanish centre mid. Like he is actually a very good player. We then have Rude Hullet in the middle, linking everything together, and he obviously gets a strong link off to Rydveld, giving him enough chemistry and stuff. Um, but if we're trying to build like the best rainbow team here, you've got to have a sick icon in there, and Rude Hullet does that job very, very well. And then this, the the whole team is about this guy, right? I wanted to use PLO, uh, stick him into the squad to see how the Maestro can perform. Ninety one rated overall with 89 dribbling and 99 passing i've got to say it's a little bit annoying to have only two star skill moves i've been doing like roulettes and stuff quite a lot lately and they've been very effective for me so uh he's a little less usable in that midfield however his dribbling is very tight so you can't just ltrt around players and stuff uh, and then this is what we've got for the uh forwards today i've got a Ultimate Scream, a team of the group stage, and a Futmas card in there. So we've got Gerard Delafeu, who is the Ultimate Scream. I imagine these guys will probably boost again in a week or so. Whenever the next full moon is, it, it looks like EA are going to be doing that again. Um, just based off of the last time we got it was for a full moon, I think. So uh, 93 pace, 88 dribbling. That obviously goes up a fair bit when he does get his boosts. We've got Futmas Alessandrini, who was uh, a bit of a bargain for me. I already had loads of the players in the club, so it felt like he didn't really cost anything at all. And I would always like to have an Alessandrini in my club, but a special version. Because look at the stats. 94 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting. If that is not 
a fantastic super sub. I do not know, I do not know what is. So uh, he is someone that I'm always happy to have just on the bench chilling, uh, or of course in the main starting eleven here today. And then team of the group stage, Ben Yedder completes our rainbow team today. Uh, he has got 85 pace and shooting, and as well as 88 dribbling on this card, 84 rated. And I've got to say, uh, this is one of the also one of the nicer looking card designs on the game in my opinion. And of course, it flows very well with his uh, with the blue and white in his in his nation so uh, it looks good uh, it's a good looking card it's a very good well playing card he does very well in game and that right there is my rainbow squad for today now i've used uh, two versions of the gold card the non-rare and the rare so i hope that's not cheating if, if so replace the the gold goalkeeper with a bronze player or something like that someone that would get chem um but they are 11 different card types so in my book that is a full-on rainbow squad uh, and we've got some actual quite colorful card designs in there as well today not just the golds and the informs uh we've tried to bring in a couple of different ones as well i mean we might not have like we have got a bit of orange we have got a bit of red with fuckmas and uh with the the ultimate scream so i'm uh, i'm wearing the t-shirt and it's working well in the squad and i gotta say i scored tons and tons of goals with this team um literally they they were they were fun to use that that pace up front was magical. Like, loads of pace on Delefeu. Ben Yedder's not as quick as the other two, but he's just got that dribbling, he's got that agility, and he's got that five-star weak foot, four-star skills. So everything that he touches turns to gold. Uh, but yeah, it was just, this was my first game that I actually played of the day. And my God, I ended up winning 7-6 after 120 minutes. And I was like knackered at the end of the game. It was like, it's ridiculously mentally draining sometimes when you're playing FIFA and every single shot just tends to go in. Uh, it's it's weird you just really can't rely on goalkeeper sometimes but that is why i wouldn't like bother wasting a huge amount of coins on a keeper i just don't see the the necessity yeah like Neuer can pull off a great save every now and again uh, but even me on like my road to glory i've got about a 50k goalkeeper in hugo loris and i sometimes feel like i could be putting that coinage into somewhere else uh for a i don't know just and get someone regular like edison or something from the prem that that could work i, I don't know uh, always feel like goalkeepers let me down, so uh, I I wouldn't recommend spending loads and loads of money on it. But the rest of the team, uh, we actually spent obviously quite a lot of money. We've got Hullet in the squad. Uh, there are plenty of other icons you could probably use. You could probably figure out another way to do it without any icons as well if you wanted to. Uh, but don't forget, when Prime icons come out, we always get loan versions of them too. So, uh, you know, if, if you haven't used some loan versions, maybe that would work in your squad today. Uh, it's up to you which players you go ahead and choose. But do, don't forget, this Hullet was there because he obviously got that strong link off to Rydveld. Uh, you might need to slightly change the team around a little bit or something. Uh, you could, like, in this team, I actually used Abate for some of the games uh, instead of Florenzi. Um, and therefore, you could probably get away with going... If you didn't have a strong link from Ridewell to Hullet because you were using someone else in the midfield, you could you could use, like, I think... Is it Tim Krull plays for Brighton? He's a non-rare gold in the Prem. And if you used Abate instead of Florenzi, then obviously you could get uh, a perfect link. And Bonucci wouldn't need another link back to the goalkeeper. That could work out quite well for you uh, if you wanted to go a slightly different route and not have someone as mega as Rude Hullet in there. But he brings the whole team together, and I've got to say, he's a very fun player to use. My favourite player on this entire game. So you're seeing all the goals that I was able to get with these guys, and uh, they were some nice ones. We had some sort of finesses from outside the box with Florenzi. Ben Yedda was doing them as well. Uh, Hullet pulled in with a couple of goals from centre midfield. Like I said earlier, so did Saul, and I wasn't expecting that. When you look at his card, he's actually got kind of like defensive-minded stats. So in in actual in actuality, when it, when you come to getting in front of goal with someone like that, you, you're thinking, oh god. In my head, I'm like, oh god, it's like a Bakayoko situation. He can't hit a bun door but actually Saul's got like 73 shooting or something uh, so he can actually hit him as well as do, do a defensive job so kind of a, a jack of all trades there and I, I really rate him I'm sure his inform is cheaper than his path to glory but of course the path to glory has the chance to be upgraded uh, and hopefully that happens again at some time uh, also just to let you guys know over the next few days we're coming towards the end of the year 
So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone for the support and stuff during 2017. The last few months have been really, really good for me. Uh, I have enjoyed all of the trips and stuff from the summer, you know, being an EA game changer now and doing all that sort of stuff with EA, uh, allow me to go and visit new places, meet and hang out with really cool people and stuff. Uh, and then just the opportunity to get involved with like the capture event and stuff in, in FIFA 18, uh, all of that exclusive everything. I love it. I really do. So thank you guys uh, for watching my content and putting up with me uh, in order to put me into a position like that. I do greatly appreciate it and I wish you all the best for the start of the new year. But anyway, I'll say that in a later video because we you know, we still got a couple of days before uh, we we move on into 2018 and I'm I am planning on uploading every single day until then. Uh, we've got a club tour coming up tomorrow because it is the end of the month and I do like to do my club tour every month so uh, you'll see how things have changed for me. We've obviously had loads of different promotions come out uh, from the end of November to the end of December so loads of different card designs in the club right now making things look a little bit colorful and awesome um, so do me a favor guys hit that thumbs up at the end of today's video that'd be amazing like I said if we can push towards a thousand likes that'd be awesome have a great day subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you next time peace